What's up guys, welcome back. I want to go ahead and just do a quick Honduzu update of what is going on and what is happening, what I have planned. So as of right now, I am currently in the works of re-gearing the doozy, uh, the factory 410s with the, the lift big wheels and tires and the little rack and stuff, all that is weighing it down, causing drag. It's really not cutting it, especially with that transmission. The transmission is getting nice and toasty in the city driving and on those uphills in the mountains. <clears throat> on the freeway, totally good, totally chill. It needs a little bit more boost heading up these hills. So the only way to do that is to re-gear it. And when you lack power, you have to re-gear everything. So I am doing the 456 swap. Uh, the front differential I got out of a 91 Trooper, which doesn't have the vacuum actuator for four wheel drive, um, which is really nice. And then I also have a uh, transfer case, which is a manual transfer case from a Trooper. And I will have a mechanical transfer case. The, all the electronics on the transfer case that I have now for the 4x4 actuator and the vacuum actuator on the front differential will be gone so I can eliminate those vacuum lines and those solenoids under the hood. There's also a little vacuum canister behind the front skid plate which can also go away. I don't need that anymore. The front differential has been resealed and cleaned up. I also put some new bearing grease in there uh, and I gave it a fresh coat of paint. The transfer case in itself, JD and I ripped it apart, put new bearings in it, and we put the three to one low range in that transfer case. So that should help out a lot on those steep uphills and those steep downhills. I'm really excited to see the difference that I do get out of that. And I'm hoping to do a comparison video of the before and after. Unfortunately, those kits are becoming harder to find. Thankfully, I was able to get my hands on a set. As far as the rear end goes, that is getting a full build. I am doing a 456 swap. I got those gears from a Jeep JK Wrangler, um, which goes right on in, which is super cool. I did have some issues finding the right pinion uh, because I guess there is some hoopla between all that. Rodeos come with a 29 spline pinion and the JKs come with a 26 spline pinion. In order for me to make this work, I got the 456 gears from a JK. That way I can use uh, shims for setting the pinion depth, but I can't use the factory as a flange that goes on that, which is 29 spline. I have to get something that's 26 spline. So I did, I got the Yukon 26 spline JK conversion kit and that was my solution for that because the drive shaft already has a 1310 U joint, which I can pop out. I'm going to replace anyway during the build and it will fit inside that conversion, which with some U bolt strap things, it's going to be the best way to do it uh, at this moment. <laughs> the other option would be to go with a 456 gears from Yukon, which is for like a 2003, uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, that way you could use the 29 spline flange that the Zuzu normally comes with. However, that is a crush washer setup and that is gonna be quite a bit more difficult to do when I have the whole axle out. So crushing that washer, I'd have to do once everything's in. I got the e-brake set or foot brake set or whatever. But right now I went with the JK gear set so I could shim it instead of using a crush washer setup. I will be getting an A or B air locker. That is the biggest plan, the biggest upgrade to this vehicle's capabilities is having a rear locker. I am keeping that front open because I'm super, super cautious about those front axles grenading and splitting considering those axles are already pretty fragile. By just having a rear locker, it'll keep some of that challenge alive for me. Anyways, because having a front rear locker, man, that thing's, anything is pretty much unstoppable at that point. So it would be uh, cool to at least just right now, for now at least, run just a rear locker. Um, maybe sometime in the future, I'll put another locker in that front end. But right now, I think I'm just gonna go with the rear. That way I can get going in on these 456s and uh, save my transmission a little bit. Once I have the drivetrain done, completely all those mechanicals, 
I do plan to add a little bit of tech into the doozy and update it just a little bit more from the head unit and the speakers. Make that car a bit more modern and a little bit more comfortable on those longer road trips. So that is it. I hope to see you guys later. I want you guys to see this build as much as I want to see it happen. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to put it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.